Hello friends, this video on organic chemistry basic part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So here we have to identify the functional groups. So this is CHO, this is aldehyde. This is OH, this is hydroxy, this is OME, this is ether, this is NS2, this is amino group, this is RCOR, right? RCOR is ester. Correct. This is N C2H5 C2H5. This is amino. Right? NH2 or N C2H5 N C2H5 is amino group. And this one is double bond, that is ethene. Ethene or ethene. ETHENE, ethene group and this NO2 is a nitro group. Correct? So thus we clearly identified all the groups here. So this is aldehyde, this is ether, this is hydroxy, this is amino, this is RCO or ester, this is amino again, this is double bond ethene and this is nitro. So here are some steps to write the structure of the compound whose name is given. We have already done this but just we'll uh, revisit this uh, steps. The first is you have to just write the chain of the carbon with respect to the word group. For example, it's pent to so write the chain, carbon chain, straight chain. Word group, number of the carbon from the end. You just number the carbon from one end. Find the multiple bond if there is any multiple bond. Attach the substituents and the functional groups. So whatever functional groups you have or the substitutes you have is attached to it and that's all you have and then once you have that you attach suitable number of hydrogen to make sure that all the carbon satisfies tetra valency and with that you'll be able to get the compound whose name is given so we have some example let's take this example write the structure of 2 chlorohexane so let's do this 2 chlorohexane so hexane is 6, right? 6 carbon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? Number it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. At second position, I have to give chloro. This is one. And all hexanes, so there is no double bond. Now just write hydrogen in all the carbons to make sure that it sits by the double bond. So this has one bond, so you have to make it uh, like this, right? This guy you have to make like this, one hydrogen here, because it has three bonds, add one more hydrogen, four bonds, two bonds here, two more, four, two bonds here, two more, four, two bonds in this carbon, two more, four, only one bond here, so add three more hydrogen. This is the structure. Similarly, pent, 4 in 2 all. So pent, so write 5 carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Number it. So now we have this uh, 5 carbon. I have pent 4 in. That means at 4th position, I have 1 double bond. This is a double bond. 2 all. That is a second position, I have alcohol. And then we have to just balance the carbon. So this guy has only 1 bond. So we have to add three more bond to make it four. This guy has three bond, add one more. This guy has two, add two more. This guy has one, two, three, add one more. This guy has already two, add two more. This is my pen four e two all. Okay. So this is three nitrocyclohexene. So let's draw cyclohexane first. This is cyclohexane is done. There's a double bond here, so add a double bond and the place where I'm adding a double bond, let this be number one, right? And then it is three nitro. So 
this is 2, this will be 3. So here you have to add a nitro group that is NO. This is my 3 nitro cyclohexane. Correct. So we know that double bond is given more important. Because here if you see the suffix is hexene, that is the double bond is more important here. In this case, the primary functional group is in group. Correct. The next is cyclohex2 in 1 all. So let's draw cyclohexane first. So here all is the primary group. So let me add some OH here and let that be number 1. This is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5, this is 6. At 2 position there is an in, so there is an in here, there is a double bond here. And that is my cyclohex2 in 1 all. Correct. Similarly, 6 hydroxo hydroxy heptanyl that is 7. Hept is 7. So first draw 7 carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And let us name it. So once it is numbered now, right? So heptanyl that means at first position I have COH group. So let this be COH. 6 hydroxy that means at 6 position I have OH group. This is my structure and remaining you to just add hydrogen. So this is 4 hydrogen, 4 bonds now. This has 3 bond. Add 1 hydrogen. This is 2 bond. Add 2 hydrogen. It's 2 bond. Add 2 hydrogen. Also 2 bond. Add 2 hydrogen. So 2 bond. Add 2 hydrogen. This is 1, 2, 3, 4 already complete. So this is my structure. Correct. So let's draw structure of these. The first is O ethyl anisole. So anisole, let's make anisole first. And it says O ethyl, right? So that means ethyl group is attached next to it. This is O ethyl anisole. The second is P nitro aniline. So let's make nitric aniline first. P nitro that means the nitro is attached just end to this opposite to this. So it's P nitro aniline. The second is 2,3-dibromo 1-phenyl pentane. So pentane is my primary one. So let's draw pentane. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is my pentane. And these are my, let me number it. So let me now number it. 2, 3, dibromo. So at 2 and 3, there are 2 bromines. Right? So at 2 and 3, there are bromine. And at 1, there is a phenyl. So let me add a phenyl here. Phenyl. There is a phenyl here. At 1, this is done. 2 and 3, there is a bromine. There is a bromine here. And this is a bromine. So 2, 3 dibromo phenyl pentane. This is my structure. The next is 4 ethyl 1 fluoro nitrobenzene. First, draw a nitrobenzene. This is my nitrobenzene. This is my number 1. Then you have 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So it says 4 ethyl, that means at this I have a ethyl group. And one fluoro. Nitrobenzene. So there is a mistake in the naming convention because it says 2 nitrobenzene, right? So this nitro has to be 2. So if this is 2, this is 1, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5 and this is 6. Right? So 2 nitrobenzene is this guy. We have done. 1 fluoro, add a fluorine here. And 4 ethyl, 4 you add a ethyl, C2H5. So this is my structure. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to 
watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.